Okay, everyone, we have a, Mr. Pops it here. We have another um, epidermal inclusion cyst, pretty good size, two centimeters or so. And you can see it's pretty raised up off the back. And these, you know, kind of shirts rubbing on them and things like that can cause some irritation. So we're going to pop this one out for him and put some stitches in. He'll just have just a little small scar there. Okay, guys, Mr. Pops it here. Um, we got this ready to go, all numbed up. Just wanted to show you there's been a lot of comments in the comment section if you don't see that on the gloves right there, then it's uh, it's not me. <laughs> and if you do see it and it's not on my channel, it's me, but it's stolen like several hundred videos I've had stolen. So people are asking why I do that. That's why, because people are taking my videos and that's not very nice. <laughs> okay. And you have, we're just gonna do a little release right here. So it's under some pressure, just a little bit on the skin there. Tiny little ellipse. And you have 11 blade over there? Yep. Just gonna pierce that. You can hold that. Just a little piercing there on that cyst. Might not be much in there. Could be kind of dry actually. He didn't have much in the other one he had on his back was pretty filled with mustard basically but that one is kind of dried out so we'll see yeah it's very fibrousy fibrous fibrousy is that a word <laughs> thick wall cyst here we'll get those scissors there Get in and get under this here. A little bit of skin I had on top isn't really attached very well to it. Yeah, let's see if we can get under here. Here it comes. Yeah, it seems he has very dried out. That cyst is right there. You can see when I don't have my little bit on the surface, how the cyst just falls apart. There we go. It's coming. Oh, it went pretty deep. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little hard-boiled egg in there, actually. Call it the hard-boiled egg cyst because it's dry. Cut that in half and you can see it. Well, it's the hard-boiled egg cyst. <laughs> so that's why it didn't come out. Everything was pretty solidified there, you can see. So it's like he always has a really thick wall there. It had just dried up and overstayed its welcome. So we'll get that out, put in some stitches. One of my MAs dry heaves a lot of times. That was a perfect one. <laughs> That's good for the video, actually. If you got sick, probably. Just kidding. <laughs> It'd be a blooper reel. That's good. So let me cut off my little bit that didn't stay attached at all. Right there. And of course, my battery's starting to go. No real bleeders, very common with him. You can see how that cyst went straight down though, pretty deep. Um, you can see all the way to the bottom there, the light. And just closed a little pocket there, put a deep stitch and then some topical stitches. That'd be great. You don't really need the cottery. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't, there's no bleeder. It's just a nice little pocket in there. Close that up easily for him. Do a deep suture here. Close that pocket for him. I'm gonna have you um, dab there a little bit. Mm. 
Yeah, just a couple small ones. You can see how that skin bunches up just a little bit. I took a little swath of skin when we have a, a domed uh, cover on the cyst like that we try to take off a little bit so the skin settles down when we close it and it kind of stretches back out for us dab the pressure there you can probably take this off now it's not going to explode at all surgery. <laughs> we'll put a little pressure bandage on there for him. Just over a centimeter, got a two centimeter cyst out and left half of that as a scar, so that's not too bad. So that's my patient with a chronic pilar cyst, and this is, he had 23 cysts. This is one of his last ones. Just one more on the hand we're gonna do and one on the leg, he's, he's almost there. So we're getting him taken care of and uh, thanks for popping by and watching. Stay safe out there. Hey guys, Mr. Popsy here. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when the next video is coming out because I got a lot of content coming your way. Thanks for popping by.